find that little button on Zoom that improves your appearance, but it doesn't do a complete filter. Carrie Wilson of Carrie Wilson Makeup joins us again today. Today we're talking in part about how we look on video conference calls because it's not the same as the way we look in person. And there are things you can do with your makeup and that you can tweak to look your best. That's right. So we're doing a lot of that right now because of the situation. You know, a lot of people are doing video conference calls, Zoom, what have you. And so I got a lot of questions about this, like, why do I look in the mirror and I feel like I look fine? And then I go on Zoom and I just feel like I look tired. I, I look dreary. I don't look like myself. So these are a few tips that'll help. Um, number one, and I preach this all the time, concealer. You have to brighten underneath your eyes. It makes us look like we got a good night's sleep. It makes us look more lifted, more youthful, more awake. And that should be lighter than your skin tone, correct? Just about a shade lighter than your skin tone because that that's what gives you that lift. I should add that anytime I add a tip or a trick, it's probably something I learned watching Carrie's Facebook <laughs> Lives that she does on a weekly basis. Yes. More on that in a moment. What else? Um, next thing is powder. You know, it's important that, it, especially because we're going to talk about, you know, where should you be if you're if you have good lighting, you can look a little shiny sometimes. Um, maybe not necessarily in person, but when you step in front of that video, if you feel shiny, maybe touch up your T zone with powder. And don't worry too much about wearing a lot of coverage and foundation, especially if you don't, because it doesn't really give you a lot of bang for your buck. It doesn't really work. Maybe keep a compact right by yes. your laptop. Absolutely. I and mean, it sounds like a strange thing to do in this day and age, having that just that little blotter right there. Well, it's what we do in TV and video all That's the right. time, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, when I'm on set, I'm touching people up to make sure they look good, and I'm looking in the monitor. I say do that for yourself. Why not? And then color. Don't be afraid to pop your lip up a little bit or your cheek up a little bit more than you would. Again, you don't have to go so far out of your comfort zone that your coworkers say, who is that? You know, but just a little bit of pop on the cheek or the lip can help us to look more um, healthy and it comes across better on, on camera as well. Okay. And eyes. eyes. Yes. So don't make the light eyeshadow. You can't really see it. Um, but eyeliner and mascara will give you more payoff. You'll get um, more definition. It pulls the eyes through, especially if you're wearing glasses. It's really, really important to do that. And then a couple tips that really have nothing to do with makeup, but just make us look better. Sit in front of a window. Turn a lot of lights and lamps on. Um, and I also think that you, your camera needs to be just a little bit above your, your note yes, and teach your significant yeah. others, ladies, to take pictures of it. One more thing I'd like to add, too, is don't get too worried about it because everyone's looking at themselves, yes, aren't they? So true. <laughs> Carrie so true. Wilson is with us throughout the show, and we do have more. CarrieWilsonMakeup.com. She has a wonderful line, and she has been, as I said, doing, been doing these free lessons once a week online. So more with Carrie soon, and we'll be right back with more River City Live.